I went to the very first one, yes. And the, it was an AIB then. And uh, we used to, when we were kids, we used to be able to get in there, the side door with a coat hanger. And later on, Lou Denny, who was a manager in the Band Johnson League, he, he's passed away now, so he can't get in trouble, but he was a ticket taker, and he used to just wave us in. And so the very first one was 1937. 1937. How old were you in 34? I was... Just a teenager, I guess. 13. How would you get down downtown? Streetcar. 31st Streetcar. Uh, take it to municipal, and then sneak in the building. And then sneak in. Never paid to get in the... NAI in my life. <laughs> Got in free and then later when I became a writer, well, we had passes. You know, uh, for a while, uh, the NAIA, for, at least in Kansas City, was every bit as big a deal as the NCAA, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was, it was, it was very prominent. And the tournament was, there, there were some great players in that tournament. Who, who were some of your early favorites? Uh, Do you remember? Yeah, Hamline had, uh, well, Hamline had some, there's quite a few players that played in the NBA. In fact, Lucius Jack, Jackson, who um, was a center for Pan American, which lost to Rockhurst in the finals, he played in the NBA. He was a heck of a player. Right, right. Um, and would you have seen that, would you have been covering or at least seen those old Tennessee State teams, the John McClendon? Yes, I saw Tennessee State. In fact, I covered uh, a game out at Rock. They played Rockers after they won the championship the next year, and I covered that game. And I saw Tennessee State play in the NAIA. They NBA players on that. Uh, oh yeah, Dick Barnett was a top player. They called him the Skull. He could shoot. Yep. But they had good teams. And Johnny McClendon, who was a, I think he's a Kansas City, Kansas guy. He was a heck of a coach.